What's up guys, I'm back with part 5 for this tutorial on how to build a large traditional house. In this video, we're going to be doing the interior layout for the second floor of the house. So, I gathered up most of the blocks we're going to be using here on the second floor. I do want to mention is that I am going to be completely freestyling the interior layout here on the second floor. Just because the original build didn't really have the best layout. And we could definitely have more bedrooms and bathrooms here on the second floor if I change it up. So, the blocks you want to go ahead and gather for now is going to be some light gray concrete. Chiseled quartz blocks. Pillar quartz blocks stone buttons, white concrete, dark oak planks, and then I have my potion of night vision so I can see a lot easier. Okay, we'll start here with the staircases. We just gotta continue bringing up our wall right here. So I still have my light gray concrete, and we just wanna add another three layers on top of the wall that we already had down there at the first floor. So we'll start with this section first. So we're gonna start here and work your way to the corner. So we have one layer, let's add two more. There we go. Let's head on over to this side of the staircase and for now we'll just bring it over to the edge of this jungle wood at that corner. So right here, add your extra layers. Okay, there we go. Now we have this wall right here in the middle. So once again, an extra three layers on top of this. And is that one thing that I actually did right where we work our way up? So, right next to these two stairs, uh, I ended up bringing this out an extra layer like that. So, it's kind of like a big pillar. So, there's four blocks here. All right. So, there we go. Now, this layer is going to be our floors, so most of this is going to be filled in with our dark oak wood planks. First, let's head back over here where this empty space is, where the staircase is. Oh yeah, let's actually grab some quartz stairs. Almost forgot about that. So, we're going to go at the top layer of this light gray concrete we just placed. We're going to fill in two, go underneath it, fill in another two, and then quartz stairs like that. And you should have plenty of space to go up and down. Maybe what we could do is actually shift this over a couple extra layers because I was thinking of having a bathroom right here. So we could get as much space out of this as possible. I was also thinking about using this space here, which I didn't originally do. Uh, we'll see if we have enough space to actually put a bathroom right here. We'll see. Or we'll just put it right here in this small space. But maybe we could just bring this in. So let's say if we add an extra layer in front of this light gray concrete and then add two stairs here yeah we still have plenty of space and then we'll delete these two stairs and replace that with the white concrete so we just brought it in and then we could delete the layers that we have here all right so we can still run up and down we won't hit our head we are all good so there we go i kind of just brought up the walls right around the staircase we'll then continue yeah, we'll continue bringing our walls all the way around and start shaping out how all the rooms are going to be. And then we'll continue bringing them all up. Keep in mind, if you really wanted to, you could use this space up here in the attic. I'm actually not going to be using this space. But if you really wanted to, you could figure out where you could bring up another staircase. And then you could have a few more bedrooms and bathrooms up here. Uh, one thing I do want to mention... Uh, the windows are going to be right on the same... Like, the this is where the floors would be. So the windows are going to be on the same layer as the floors. If you don't want it to be like that, all you have to do is shift these windows up a layer. So if you do plan on using the space up here at the attic, just shift these windows up one layer and you'll be good. But let's head back down here and we'll continue doing our layout for all of the rooms. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is just start placing our blocks. If we need to make adjustments, we will. But we'll start with our light gray concrete and we'll head on over here where we already have it. And we'll just go and fill in two extra layers like that. So right up against the corner here. If you wanted to, you could fill in the corner. But so we have as much space here in the hallway as we can get. We'll go ahead and leave that empty. We'll bring this over. Add your extra layer on top of that. As you can see, this light gray concrete is just 
basically right underneath our window and then we have one extra layer below it. So we don't necessarily have to fill in this third layer here because this is all going to be covered up with our floors. We'll head on over here and add an extra two. We'll work it back to here and then add the extra layer on there. So what I'm thinking we could have we have to make sure to clear this window here so we can't just have like a wall going right here because it'll cover up that window. So we'll probably have a wall right around here or here. Uh, probably right here. We'll have a wall and then this will be a bedroom and we'll try to squeeze in a bathroom over there. And then on the other side, this will be a bedroom leading into here. This will also be the bedroom and then we'll have a bathroom here. So. Let's see, we'll head back on over to this side with our light gray concrete and we'll just bring this straight across to the other wall. And we'll add an extra layer on top of that. All right, and then we have this wall over here. So we'll just bring this over and we'll bring it one block further than the corner here. We'll add an extra layer on top of that. So yeah, we'll probably fill in this corner because we'll have the wall going right here. And then we'll bring it in like that. And then bring it over. Stop it there. Add your extra layer. Then we'll bring it back out. And then, yeah, and then we'll bring it over. I was thinking, should we have different colored walls for the bathroom? Maybe we'll just use the same colored walls so we don't have to double it up. And uh, we'll be able to get as much space out of this area as possible. So we'll go ahead and bring this over. And we'll stop it right here on the edge of the wood. So one block further. So we have our, our gray concrete here, then one block, and then one block further than that. So we have like two right here until you meet up with the glass. Let's add an extra layer. All right. So I'm thinking we could probably just cover up this space because I really don't think it's good. I don't think it's tall enough for us to be able to have anything. This will be the ceilings right here. Or we could just have a really small bathroom here. We'll probably double that up. Okay, so yeah, we'll just cover this up. So switch back to your light gray concrete. We'll just bring it straight over. Add your extra layer. Like that. So we'll just cover that area up. If you really want to use this space, maybe you could use it as like a closet or something. I'm not going to worry about it though. Okay, now we will... We'll add an extra layer right here. Like that. And then I'm thinking we could add one more extra layer and then we'll bring the wall straight over and this this will be our bathroom. So we'll go right here and we'll add an extra layer. And then we'll continue bringing it over like that. So this will be a bathroom. We'll be able to fit like a uh, bathtub right here and then our toilet maybe right here and our sink. So it'll be it's going to be a small one, but it'll look nice. All right, there we go. So now Let's continue with our gray concrete. We're back here where the staircase is. We're gonna skip over these two blocks here and we're gonna be on the third block and we're gonna bring light gray concrete from one side to the other. So now all of this space here is going to be a hallway. So we'll have a doorway leading into this bedroom and then another doorway leading into this one. This is all looking pretty good so far. I like this. So. Let's then start marking out, we'll divide these rooms right here. So we have this corner and we'll just bring this to the other wall where this hallway is. Like that. So now if this is going to be a bedroom, that's going to be a bathroom for the bedroom. Then this is all going to be a bedroom. So this as well as all of that. And this will be like the master bedroom. It's going to be pretty big. Or we could... What if we did something like this? We had a bathroom here and then a hallway here leading into that. Actually, yeah, let's have another bathroom right here. So this would be like a little hallway bathroom. And then this will be a hallway. So then we'll just carve all of this out. And this will just be like an open hallway. And then we'll have a doorway right here leading into this bedroom. We'll probably have it right here. Okay, and then that should be enough space. We'll have our roof right there, our ceiling. Okay, so I'll go up above. You guys could check it out. This is kind of, I can't really get a good angle. This is kind of like what it's looking like. 
It's getting there. Now we're going to start filling in the floors and you'll start seeing what it should be looking like. First, let's have a doorway leading into this bedroom. So let's see if it's going to be even. So we have three blocks here and then we'll carve out four. Yeah, it's going to be even. So we'll go ahead and carve out four there. So three blocks remaining on this side and three blocks remaining on this side. Now we'll switch to our... You know what? We'll switch to the chiseled quartz blocks first. We'll fill in all of this. So just right on top of all that white concrete. So that's the bathroom. We'll do the same for this part. And then all of this other space where the hallway is and the bedroom is gonna be dark oak planks. So we'll start where the staircase is and just fill all of this in. And we'll go ahead and stop it just uh, right here. So we'll bring it straight over and we'll stop it right here. We We'll probably use the same floors for this bedroom, but for now, we're not worried about that. We still have to do the walls, so we'll just fill all of this in. So I'm going to go ahead and fill all of this in, and I guess this is working out pretty well. Considering I'm kind of like freestyling it, I'm not messing up at all, so we're getting it done. And I think it's going to be, it's going to look a lot better. Because yeah, at the original build, I had, I had a bathroom right here. And then I had a bedroom and then a bathroom over there. All of this was just like a big open sitting area. It was really not nice at all, actually. <laughs> but this is so, so much better. I really like it now. All right. I'm just going to continue filling in this hallway and the bedroom. And then I guess we'll continue bringing up the walls. Okay, I just about got this bedroom done. It's a pretty big sized bedroom as well. So it's really nice. Okay, it's got that big window right there. We'll probably have the bed right here. And yeah, we'll have plenty of space to do a bunch of stuff in there. So next, we'll go ahead and let's see. Oh, let's have a doorway right here. So we'll just have a one block wide doorway. So three spaces like that. We'll carve this out and we'll switch that with chiseled quartz blocks. And then over here, we'll do the same thing. So we'll have the doorway. See, so we're gonna have the bed there. So I have the doorway right here. And then we'll carve out these, switch it to chiseled quartz. And yeah, that should be plenty of space for the doorway in between the bed and yeah. Okay, so that's all looking good. And then right here, we'll go ahead and just add an extra layer of dark oak plank so just fill this little gap in here because that's where our doorway is going to be so now on top of all of this light gray concrete i want to go ahead and use my chiseled quartz blocks so we'll add one strip just one layer all the way around on top of it and then we'll switch back to the light gray concrete after this And I think I went all the way around. So obviously make sure to skip the windows. And there we go. So we're adding a little bit of extra, I guess kind of like texture. It's like a little wallpaper design on the wall. And now we'll switch back to the light gray concrete. On top of all of that chiseled quartz, we'll add one, two, three, four layers like that. So four extra layers on top of that chiseled quartz. So I'm gonna go all the way around you got to add one extra layer above all of the windows now like that so i'm going to go all the way around and continue doing this and then we'll probably oh potion we'll probably actually head on into this room over here and we're going to have the master bedroom and a big old bathroom there so let's continue doing the rest of this Okay, I just about got all of the walls brought up. We'll head on to doing our doorways next. But yeah, it's looking really good. I really like it. We did use all of the same walls throughout this entire area, but that's so we could use as much space as possible. So let's say if we did use a different colored wall in here, we would have to add an extra layer for a wall here. And then we'd also have to do it for like this wall here. So this wall would have to be double thick 
and then this wall here would have to be double thick and it'll just allow us not to be able to have as much space so yeah that's why i used all of the same walls so we could get as much space out of this area as possible so let's switch to the pillar quartz blocks and we'll add three on each side and then the fourth block is going to be our corner and then we'll have two sideways blocks in between those and then just our stone buttons on each side to cover up those corners then two extra layers of light gray concrete on top of that and we have our first doorway head on into the bathroom this is just going to be a one block wide doorway not two like that one all right then our stone buttons and two layers of gray light gray concrete So how about this part? Can we adjust this at all? We have that right there. I guess if we really wanted to, we could delete these two blocks here. So let's see, if we walk up. Okay, I guess if you wanted to, to uh, kind of open up this hallway a little bit when you walk straight up, we could delete these blocks here and it opens it up a little bit. So we'll delete this as well because we don't necessarily need it here. But I do also just want to keep this extra layer here. So it looks like this wall is like a little thicker it looks like a big pillar if i deleted these two blocks as well it would just be this section here and wouldn't really look as good so we'll leave it like that i think that looks good and it kind of opens up that corner a little bit we can see a little bit better all right now let's do the doorway for the bathroom here All right, I'll go up above. Let's see if I could get a good angle on it. Uh, not really. It's tough getting good angles when you're on the inside, but this is kind of what it's looking like. All right, now uh, we'll head on to doing this doorway. So you can switch to your pillar quartz block. We'll add three on each side. Now keep in mind this corner block right here, as you can actually see already, it's gonna be kind of covered up by our ceiling that we're gonna have here, which is okay. And then we'll have our corner block here. And then we'll be able to have the stone buttons on each side of this corner. That one's covered up, so we're only going to be able to do it on this side. And then we'll add two extra layers of light gray concrete. And there we go. Now we have our doorway leading into this bedroom. So it's going to be a little bit close to this wall, but it's going to go right next to it. It's going to be perfect, actually. So... Now we'll head on to this room. We'll probably just bring this wall straight across from one side to the other. We'll just not use any of this space here because that'll just make this a little bit more confusing. So just bring it straight over. It'll look a lot better. Have a bedroom here and a bathroom over there. So we'll get on to doing this next. Okay, so at the original build, I just had this section right here, basically right where all this white concrete is. This was the bedroom. And then all of this was the bathroom, as far as I remember. It's a pretty big bathroom. So what we'll go ahead and do is probably bring over the bedroom. Maybe all the way over here. And then this will be the bathroom. This will still be really big. Plenty of space. So we'll see. If we had a wall right here. And then right... Yeah, that'll be perfect. So let's go ahead. Should we use a different colored wall in here? Uh, maybe, yeah, we could if you really wanted to. Let's go ahead and use some different colored walls in here. So let's see. You could use whichever color you want. But I'm going to grab... Maybe we use a more vibrant... You know what? Let's just do uh, green concrete and then the chiseled quartz blocks. So we have our doorway here. We'll fill in two blocks like that. On the same layer as our pillar quartz. And then we'll just bring this green concrete straight over to the other side. There we go. Keep in mind, we're going to have a bunch of quartz stairs right here. So all of this is going to be covered up. So we have that. And then we'll go right here and just cover up this wall with our green concrete. Actually, don't go all the way in like that. Leave that space empty. And then we'll bring this up. We'll have chiseled quartz. And or is that too high? Uh, actually, the chiseled quartz. Let's see. We have our floors here. Chiseled quartz is going to be uh, the second layer so all of this right here is going to be chiseled quartz all 
All right, there we go. And I guess we'll go ahead and continue our green concrete and fill all of this in. All right, there we go. And then let's head back over here. We'll fill all of this in with green concrete and we'll wrap around our doorway. And now since this doorway is gonna be doubled up, we could delete this stone button here and add our extra layer with the pillar quartz. Like that. And then we'll add our stone button back. All right, there we go. Now continue with your green concrete. We'll add an extra one, two, three layers of green concrete there. And then we'll bring it over towards that direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it looks like we have to bring it in a little bit. So this is a little bit different. Uh, like how this window is it's a little bit different than what I would normally do Because I would normally have all of this. Oh Normally this would all be like uh, quartz and then all of this would be quartz would all match In this case, we're probably going to be able to see the wood, but that's okay So now let's skip over that space So we'll just place a block and we'll delete that and they'll bring it over an extra Two right there. So we have three on this side on the left side of that window so yeah, the walls in the bathroom are going to be green as well. We'll add an extra two. And then we'll skip over that window. Add two over here to the left of it. And then we'll bring this straight over to the other side. And we'll stop it there. We won't go all the way in. Just leave one space. All right. And then if I had a wall right here, this is four blocks wide. So perfect. Okay, now we'll head back on over to that wall. Basically where we started. So bring it straight across to the other side. And stop it there. Alright, so now I want to see, are we going to be able to have a different colored wall here in the bathroom? Because I don't think I really want, I mean, all we really have to do is bring this over here. So yeah, we have one space of green concrete to the left side of that window. So we'll go on the second block and bring green concrete from one side to the other. And then right here will be our bathroom. So right now it's five blocks wide, but I want this to be white walls. So what we'll do is we'll delete all of this green concrete that we had in here and we're going to replace it with white concrete. So now we'll start here, we'll place three and then we'll skip that one and place an extra two and then we'll bring it over until we have one space remaining there. Fill all of this in and then right up against all of the green concrete. And then this uh, bathroom is still four blocks wide, which is perfect. That's what I would normally have. That's like the perfect sized bathroom, four blocks wide. Okay, so there we go. Let's then, on top of all of the green concrete and the white concrete, we'll add a layer of chiseled quartz. And then we still have to make sure to mark out where the bathroom door is going to be. So we'll have it, since we have no window back here, this will be where the bathtub is. So we'll have the bathroom door more on this side. Uh, let's continue filling this in. And curve it right there. So we'll have the bathroom door. We'll skip over two spaces here at the right, and then we'll carve out three. Like that. So this will be the door into the bathroom. Uh, with our chiseled quartz blocks, let's continue filling in our floors. So as you can see, the window here is at the same layer as the floors, which is okay. So we'll fill all of this in with chiseled quartz for the bathroom. All right, and then we'll bring it over so it's lined up with that white concrete. And then right here, we'll fill this in with white concrete on each side. And then, like I mentioned before, we are still gonna be able to see a little bit of wood, but that's okay. This is all gonna be covered up though. It's just like these uh, blocks here on the side, which is fine. I don't mind that, no big deal, still looks good. All right, now we'll fill in all of the floors for this bedroom here. This is a really big bedroom, but keep in mind it is the master. So we'll switch to our dark oak planks and we'll fill in all of this space. So I'll just go through right here. Uh, we're going to have green concrete like that. All right. And then we have to still add our extra layers on on the walls. But let's fill in all of our floors here with our dark oak wood planks.
Okay, I just about got all of the floors done here in the bedroom. Just finishing it up, and then we'll continue bringing up our walls. And then we'll add our quartz stairs for the ceiling to cover up all those wood stairs. Oh yeah, this window, let's add a little extra. So I have a quartz stair below it and above it. So it's not just like a one block wide window. It adds a little bit more having the stairs. And I think that's the only window that we have to worry about. So now for this wall here and all of this on uh, this side, we'll cover up with white concrete. We'll start at this wall first. So we'll fill it all in on each side, right above it, back down. And then all of that is done. And then we have this wall right here going down the middle. We'll just bring it straight up. And then we have to have our doorway here. So you can switch to your pillar quartz blocks. We'll have three on each side. We'll go behind it, add our extra layer, because it's going to be double thick. And then we'll have our corner block as the fourth block. And then our sideways blocks. And then the stone buttons. Okay, and there we go. All that's looking good. And then we'll head on over here. We have to fill the rest of this in with green concrete. Now, let's go ahead and cover up all of the space with our quartz stairs. So switch to those. We'll start here, we'll do the bathroom first. It's a little bit easier. So we'll start at this wall. We'll add one layer here, then two. Oh no. Oh man, hang on. I don't know how that happened. Now I have to go all the way around. Oh man. Now let's try to go through one of these windows. Okay, there we go. It's all good. It's all fixed. <laughs> so let's have... Let's see, we have two layers of quartz stairs there. Let's go up one more layer. So we have three layers going up. Let's go on this side. We'll skip the window. We'll bring this straight across. And then one extra layer here. Okay, so it looks like that. And then all of this space above it will be full blocks of quartz. So we can switch to, or we'll switch out, oh, the white stained glass panes that we have there. And then full blocks of quartz. Three like that, so it's on the same layer as the stair. We have no windows there. And then all of this is going to be full blocks of quartz as well. Okay, then we'll have some sea lanterns up there for extra light. So yeah, as you can see, there is still a little bit of wood showing. And normally, uh, there would be a bunch of quartz on the outside right here. And then it would all match the walls and the ceilings and stuff. But in this case, we don't have it like that. So it's all good though. Still looks fine. Alright, so the bathroom is all done. Let's head on over here. And we'll continue with our quartz stairs. And just skip that window for now. Wrap this all the way around and stop it there go up another layer wrap it around and this time we're going to be bringing it straight from one side to the other we're not going to be skipping the window because we don't need to and then up one more layer above that so there we go we have that entire entire section done and then right here we'll have three blocks of quartz and then we're going to have three layers here, but let's go on this side. And we have our quartz stairs. Let's see, are we going to be able to fill that in? Alright, let's bring this from one side to the other. We'll start here. We'll bring it over. And should we... Let's see, how should we do this? Should we just bring it like that? And then go up to the other layer. And do the same thing. And then wrap it around. I think that's good. And then one more layer after that. Yeah. Keep in mind, this is a little bit different than the original build. But yeah, that actually worked out really good. That was a lot better than what I was about to do. It's going to look probably, probably really weird if I would have done it the other way I was planning on doing it. I was just going to bring it straight in. I don't think it would have worked out. All right, there we go. Perfect. Now, let's switch to our blocks of quartz. We'll fill all of this empty space in here. So this is where we're going to be filling in all of our sea lanterns. And now we have all of this space done. 
we just have to fill in our ceilings for the other bedrooms and then that's everything for the layout on the second floor of the house i'm thinking this is a really big bedroom or should i bring this out so we can have like a bathroom and a closet here like have this as a really big bathroom since it is like the master bathroom so we could bring the wall out right here uh and then that bat the bedroom would be a lot like more of a normal size it'll still be pretty big but it is the master bedroom so it's supposed to be a little bit bigger i think we should bring out the bathroom up until this wall here actually it'll be right here okay let's go ahead and do that we just have to figure out how we're gonna fill in all of the space for the bathroom we'll probably have like double sinks like his and her sinks and stuff so let's switch to the green concrete we'll leave two spaces here and then we're on the third block and we'll fill this in okay then we'll carve out three spaces so it matches our original doorway all right and then we'll go ahead and delete this entire wall right here you don't have to do this if you don't want to if you liked how it looked before just ignore this but i'm going to do it just so uh the bathroom's a little bit bigger since it's the master bedroom or er, bathroom and then so the bedroom isn't like enormous so i'll just delete all of these blocks that we filled in here there we go and now all of this we're going to switch to white concrete not this keep that layer that we just placed delete all of this and now the white concrete will bring straight over and we'll put it right up against this green concrete okay and then switch out all of these dark oak planks with chiseled quartz blocks all right let's do that and then we'll bring up our walls right down the middle and then this is all adjusted i think it'll work out a lot better makes more sense because that was a really that was a pretty big bedroom okay that's a lot better so now we have a pretty big bathroom uh we could line up the door so it's symmetrical with how the room is should we do that instead of having it over here to the right so yeah we'll go ahead and line up the door so it's even with the room like that we just have to shift it over one block let's make this chiseled quartz now our pillar quartz we'll bring it up three on each side make it double thick and then the corner blocks sideways blocks the stone buttons and then we have to fill in all of this with quartz stairs Oh wait, that's too high. Just three layers. And then all of this full blocks of quartz. And right here, we have to delete these stairs. So this, this, and this. Same with this side. All right. So uh, what, six stairs in total on each side. So 12 in total. And then uh, we'll fill this in with our walls so start with the green concrete just bring it all the way up and around the doorway and then back down we'll go behind this do the same thing oh wait i totally forgot we have our chiseled quartz on this layer it's for these three blocks on each side okay then white concrete here and now we have this all fixed is this all good yep okay i think that is all good now and then what about this side there we go i think that is a lot better i like that okay now we just have to fill in our ceilings so let's just switch to our white concrete cover all of this up just one block like right on top of the light gray and we'll fill it all in and then we are done with the interior layout here on the second floor and then we'll head on That'll be it for part five, and then in part six, we'll be starting the interior furnishings. So let me fill all of this in. Okay, I'm finishing up the ceilings, and then I'll just go through and show you exactly what we did. Make sure you got it all 
kind of like similar to what mine's looking like. Doesn't have to be like exactly the same, but I'll go through and show you uh, what we have. I think this is the last strip right here. Okay. And then we'll do all of the lights when we start doing the furnishings. So we'll start doing the furnishings here on the first floor. I normally just do all the lights and then I head on to doing it. All right. So we'll head on up. We just did all of this. So we have our hallway. And then we go to the right. We have a bedroom right here. A very nice sized bedroom. And then it has its own bathroom. Normally I would add a bunch of crown molding on the ceiling, but uh, this is kind of like a rebuild and I wasn't really able to do that. So yeah, normally I would though. I would have a bunch of like upside down quartz stairs up here to look like crown molding. In this case, we're not really able to do that because the windows are like four blocks in height. Normally I'd have them like three and yeah. Okay. Then we continue down the hallway. We have a bathroom, kind of just like a hallway bathroom here. And then we go to this side. This is another bedroom, like the master bedroom. And then we have the master bathroom. So that means there is, what, three bathrooms here on this floor and two bedrooms. So that makes this entire house three bathrooms and three bedrooms. Yeah, so a three bedroom, three bathroom house, because this is a bedroom here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and leave it at that for part five. Okay guys, that's going to be it for part 5 for this tutorial on how to build a large traditional house. If it helped you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part 6. Later.